mean, yeah. a lot of things you just catch out of context. And I think it's a great pop art, you know, thing. When you watch the 22 sets, do you ever just uh, come in on the primetime programs on the networks, or do you go for the things that are on the cable more? That's oh, no, no, I watch, I, I like, you know, the real American things, and totally all American, what people are watching in America, because, you know, I sort of don't represent what people are watching in America, which is great, you know. For some reason, I have the license to, to sort of get away with things, you know, which is nice. I thank you all for that. But, uh, but it's it, that, it, that all, I'm an all-American guy, really. And, you know, and, and in TV, it, you know, I get accused of being a nationalist when, I, nationalist when I leave America. I go to Europe and I say, boy, it's so inconvenient here. No pizza at four in the morning. You know, TV, TV is off at eight o'clock, you know. I sat in England and watched a two-hour special on soybeans. <laughs> Saturday night at 9 o'clock, that was, uh, that's what was on. And I sat there and I watched it and I thought something was going to happen, you know. Nothing happened. The next day interviews, I knew everything about soybeans. That's all I talked about. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> but, but it's really the all-American thing. I really, uh, TV is, is, a great, is a great thing, you know. After you have finished a road trip and you go back to your home in California, how much do you guard your privacy to keep the outside world away from you and your family for a time? Well, that's, you know, that is important. You know, I'm on the map, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, what I do is I hire, to you know, keep the image up, I, I rent this big black castle up there and I hire a hundred actors to be like townspeople, you know. <laughs> so they, because they expect people to pitch for, kill the monster! You know, <laughs> that keeps the image up and they, they think I live there, right? It's live down the street. No, it's, in L.A. especially, you, if you're on the map, you don't have any privacy at all, you know. No, you can't just that, sail into Chasen's and have a quiet oh, dinner because I, they're... I can't go anywhere. I really can't, you know. I love going to baseball games and things like that and I just can't, you know. Tupperware parties. Well, but what? What if you were to maybe? I mean, you could disguise oh, yourself. I put as, on it. I was gonna say you could disguise yourself as a normal-looking person. You know, yeah, they, one person to say, "Hey, Alice," you know, and then I'll say, "Oh no," and then. They, but, but I, see, I can't say no when it comes to autographs. I think it's a real compliment for somebody to ask you for your autograph. Mm -hmm. But that's also even though you know that in one day or one year it will be in the wastebasket. Oh, yeah. It's it a great matter. compliment for somebody to say, sure. may I have your autograph? Sure. Well, the, you Fortunately, know. I'm not able to write, so I, <laughs> yeah, I, I conduct that. We, I, the, and the great thing is what, that is like you get a guy that doesn't want to, you know, I don't, I don't want him to know it's, I want it for me. I had a, a Hell's Angel one time or a big, big biker and he came out and he says, that's for my girlfriend, you know. I said, well, what name do you want? He says, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> and it said Spike on his jacket, too. <laughs> he really boxed me out on that one. But you agree, oh, okay, great. But, you know, that, that is funny. And then people also say, it's not for me. I, I, as long as I'm here, I might as well get one, too. Mm -hmm. you, know? <laughs> you know, it's... I collect autographs. I collect all villain autographs. Like? Uh, I have Bella Lugosi. Um, I have uh, Lon Chaney, Bella Lugosi. I have... Uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Mm -hmm. I have uh, the Prince Charles, the, who is Jack the Ripper, the Duke of Windsor. Uh, Duke of Windsor, is that right? <laughs> no, they, they actually found out that was, you know, that was the Jack the Ripper. He was next in line to be the king, and he was, you know, he was Jack the Ripper. I think. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And all the, you know, great villains. I like villains. So, you know. Alice has have one you? more. <laughs> Alice has one more number for us. And uh, I think I'm correct. It's called Under My Wheels. Yes. Is that correct? If you would get back and get started with the organization, I will give you the advice. Here once again is uh, Alice Cooper. The song is called Under My Wheels.